James, welcome to my home studio. I'll share with you some of the art that so many people don't get to see. home gallery I'm sharing one of my largest seascapes and then directly to the right of it you'll see at the top an Asian piece based on a Lisa C book that I read and below that a piece that's a really inspired by the color purple the musical favorite part of my living space is this room that was formerly the living room, which is actually my largest gallery at home, uh, holding paintings on the wall even four by five feet in dimension. Uh, behind me are paintings from uh, Tuscany from my visit there, a large seascape of Hawaii from Magic Island. Then there's uh, Nina Simone towards the back, and then directly behind me is Dance Africa, two pieces I was commissioned to Chuck Davis's group, Dance Africa, originating out of Durham, North Carolina. This is by far my most treasured award to date, which is the Trumpet Award. Um, this year it's her 19th year, and it, they will actually start airing this year's awards in April. But last year in April, they were really, this was showing all over the world in over 18 countries. I was the first painter to receive the Trumpet Award, and the Trumpet Award, quite literally, is the Oscar for Civil Rights. So that's why it's way up there, um, on top, top of the notch, top of the notch. One of the things that um, currently a lot of people don't know about my art unless they've known me throughout these 40 plus years of creating art is that I'm really a multicultural artist. I do work from all cultures of all over the world, all spiritualities and everything. So one of the pieces out of the two in my um, Hasidic Jewish period is this prayer shawl piece. Uh, there's still some more aspects of that culture that I want to explore, but this is just to give you another example. On this wall, uh, a very favorite piece of mine, uh, dating back to 1990, I believe, something around there, the French Bicentennial. Uh, there was a parade down the Champs-Élysées, and one of the parade floats was an, a pyramid of African drummers. And that's what I based this on um, with, through research through National Geographic and looking at various photos. Uh, that's one of those paintings that you never sell. That's one I've always kept to myself um, as part of my permanent collection. Uh, beside it, to the other side, is another seascape. Um, I've, I have done so many seascapes, and I know so many people have never seen them. But that's another side of me, and it's definitely the part of me that loves to see. Okay, we're um, really at the end of our little tiny tour and um, with a close-up of some of the paintings you saw in the background, uh, starting with Magic Island, Hawaii, 
two pieces from Tuscany, the cypress trees and the sunflowers. And directly behind me, my tribute to Nina Simone, who has a cultural center in Ghana named in her honor, teaching children from all African diasporas and around the world about each other's culture. So here you've had a, a really good close-up, which mostly people, like I said, don't get a chance to do this. But you're definitely invited to make a, you know, an appointment sometime in the future if you'd like to come in and really see all the work that's here. It's over 50 pieces.